It's the K-Day Morning Show with Romeo here at 935 K-Day, the first hip-hop station in the world. And I got a homie, man. I've been knowing this dude probably 18 years. What up, Crazy Bone? What's up with you, man? Man, you in here. We're talking about right here. I love this product. Thank Strains you. of Legends. Yes. Oh, yes, man. Let's talk about that. Just jump it off with this right here because you got me looking good right now. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, this is a uh, you know my new strand. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's only right, you know, we get into this market. You know, yeah. you know we are... Uh, one of the kings of making those herbal songs, those good, those those feel good songs. So it's only right, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. you know, when um with all the legalization going on and everything, man, you know it's like you know we finally get to do this the right way. Yeah. You know without getting in trouble for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So it's a good thing, man. So you got, you, I'm out here pushing this. You know, um, this is fresh. This is new. Out here pushing it, and um, it's something. You know, it's 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 very high quality. Yeah. You know, some um. Uh, I wanted to give everybody, you know what I'm saying, the chance to dabble in what we smoke. That's what it is, because people wonder. Yeah, 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 yeah. What y'all puffing on, but now they know. Yeah, now they know, you know what I'm saying? Now, now, they, chance, now they got a chance to vape with the greats, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. So it's going down. Man, and this is exciting, and times have truly changed when you think about yes, this whole man. movement, man. But it's it's a win-win for everybody, I think. Yes, yes it is, man. Like you said, times have changed, you know. Like like I said, I remember we was doing this, and we was we had to sneak around and do it, you know what I'm yep. saying? You was riding around paranoid, if you just, even if you wasn't selling it, you know what I'm saying? You was just... <laughs> You, you you just paranoid just having it. You want a low low? I remember, man. We did a couple of concerts in Hawaii with, with Bone Thugs and Harmony. We'd be on the scooters up in Black Diamond, up there in the mountains, man. Man, pop, pop, gone, fast. gone. You already know. <laughs> yeah, man. So it, it, it's it's real it's real cool to see everything change and then uh you know um the laws becoming more softer towards it. You know, yeah. it's it's because you know it ain't really never harm nobody. You know, it, it, we don't we don't went this long. We see what the other drugs do to people. You know right. what I'm saying? But you know, you know, know, but, you know, but it's, uh, cannabis has has always been like a healing. Something True. to heal people, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we're just going to continue with that, man, you know? Got to do it. You got to do it. Now, LeBron James leaves Cleveland. Now you get Odell Beckham. How does your city feel about uh, that situation? Man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I'm I'm, a, I'm in the clouds right now, you know okay. what I'm saying? You know, it, 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 was, it, was, it, was, it was bittersweet when LeBron left, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm a LeBron fan, so gotcha. I'm behind him 100%. I even told him, you know what I'm saying, I'm riding with you 100% wherever you go. He went to Miami, yeah. bone represented him, you know what I'm saying? He came back. He out here. I'm still representing them, but it's real sweet to get o, uh, you know Odell down there and for the Cleveland Browns, not Man. to be looking like a joke no more. It, it, I, you, I mean, it's been a long time. It you know has. What I'm it's been you, a long time. The squad earned a lot of respect last season. Oh but yeah. Now with oh the, yeah. With definitely. all these transaction stuff that's happened right now. Yes, indeed. I'm excited for y'all, man. Man, I'm excited. I, I don't. I don't think I've been this excited for a season to start. I'm like, I wish it could start tomorrow, Jack. <laughs> For real, I'm ready to go. Can for we real. just skip baseball season and get right to football man, season? Man, real talk, for real. You know what I'm saying, man? But I got you here chopping up with me, and it's ironic that it's the anniversary of the passing of Easy e 24 years ago today. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, I didn't even realize it. Yeah, That's crazy. Yeah, man, I mean, That's this day crazy. it happened in 1995. Where were you, Crazy Bone, when you heard about this? Man, it's so crazy because um, it's so crazy because how everything went down with us, it, it was like... It was uh we we were called to the office one day, but we 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 hadn't we hadn't seen E in about about a month. Okay. And we and I, and, and it was and it was strange for us because ever since E had brought us down, he would he would contact us at least every day to see what we was doing, you know, like was we in the studio? And then like when we we got a call from the um from the office and they wanted us to come up to the office. Yeah. So we didn't know what was going on. Easy wasn't there, and they was they was. They was they was giving us our first checks. Yeah, and we was like, "How come Easy ain't here giving us these checks?" Yeah, cause it's, it's a special moment. Like, yeah, it's like, Yo. you know what I'm saying. So we like, something strange. They was like, you know, um, Easy's real busy right now, and this and that. So, so we got our money, and you know, we all moved back to Cleveland. Okay. So it's so crazy because like we was hearing rumors. People from L.A. was calling me like, "Did y'all hear anything about Easy?" I was like, "No, mm-hmm. I ain't heard nothing." They said we heard he was in the hospital, but that's all we heard. So I'm sitting in the house with my wife at the time, and MTV News come on, and it said e- uh, Easy E had just passed away from AIDS. Wow! I was man. like, "What?" And y'all knew passed nothing the- about this was going. Knew nothing about nothing. They kept everything from us. We didn't know nothing. Man, we didn't know he was not. I mean, I mean, at at some point, um, I think when he was up, uh, no, 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 before he passed away, they said he was in a hospital, right, with AIDS, and um. But he was unconscious though. 
Yeah. And I think Lazy and Wish got a chance to go see him because they were still out here. And they okay. say he was just sitting there, but they couldn't talk to him. And yeah, man, it was just it was just crazy, it, especially for us because you know, like here we here it is, like we was only with him for like a year. Okay. Before he passed away, but that whole year we was. We was with him damn near every day. Yeah. Because he was taking it around to like different producers, different studios, always had us working. So he was very hands on once oh, he yeah. signed y'all. Oh yeah, very, very hands on. He 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 did everything. Our first album cover, he shot that. Damn. He shot I didn't that know with that. a little digital camera. Yeah. All, all those pictures we did in that time, he shot all that with this little digital camera. Well, I never knew that. He crazy. used to follow us around. He made us get if you look at the album cover of Thuggish Ruggers Boom, he made us climb up on the roof and he was like all right, now y'all jump off the roof. Like, what? <laughs> jump off the roof. And he caught us in midair. Like, it was crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm How many takes you had to do on that? Was it just one take for that, yeah, though? Yeah, yeah, one. One, one, one. <laughs> like, we ain't breaking no legs, E, for real. Man. No, yeah, yeah, man. But he did all, he followed, he just to follow us around with the camera and just always take pictures of us. Just like, it was crazy. I think that's so dope that you're sharing that with us because, you know, we look at Easy e like how he started NWA, how he got yeah. into the game. But to know that, when he embraced y'all, he took y'all on like that. Now, a couple years ago, you were at the KD when we were on Wilshire, and you were telling me about how y'all were all in this one-bedroom apartment when you got the call. Yeah, you know, oh, and, yeah. And the, and the phone was locked in the room. Cause the, yes. Man, yes. That, that is crazy. So you get the call, and you can't get in the room because they locked the phone in the room away from y'all. Yes, indeed, man. The door was, you know what I'm saying? We, we, was, we was hyped because we had just got the phone with him. I rapped for him on the phone. He was like, I got a meeting to go to. I'm going to call y'all back in two hours. Yeah. So we go downstairs all hyped, like, yeah, he he said he's gonna call us back in two hours. Da, da, da. And the person we were staying with, they, you know, they they got up and they left and they locked the phone in the room. I was like, yo, man, it, it took everything in us not to kick that door down. Because he was like, <laughs> if we kick this door down, we're gonna be homeless out here. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? So we was like, but we remember he told us he had a show in Cleveland. So we just hustled up the money to get back to Cleveland and that's where we met him. Man, so yeah. there it is. He embraced you guys. He signed y'all. And and it's just so crazy. You're from Cleveland, but L.A. loves you so much. Man, yes. You know oh, what yes. I'm saying? Like, yes, indeed. Yes, you indeed. guys can literally probably do a show every week in any part of L.A. or Southern California, and it's going to sell out. Yeah, man, well, well, California is our number one market, I, I, and I think it's always been like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's just been um, California has just always embraced us, you know, because I be looking up sometime and I be like, It'd be like, uh, we'd be on shows, and it'd be like, West Coast Finest. And I'd be like, Bone, I'd be like, hey, man, what? <laughs> they know where we from? We ain't complaining, though. You know, we love it. You know what I'm right. saying? But I'm just like, you know, but it, it, it's just a blessing we get that love, and, and, and we really appreciate it, man. Really do. Yeah. Well, you, real. you definitely earned it, man. And now, so you make the song Crossroads. Yes. How hard was it making that song or recording that song? Because you did it for Easy E, right? Yeah. Well, well, um, well the original version of Crossroads was for one of our homies that passed away. Okay. Our first homie that ever passed away, you know what I'm saying? And we made that song for him. And then it was so crazy because once we got on with Easy, it was like it was just like a domino effect. We started like losing a lot of our homies back home in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And it was just like so um and then when Easy passed, he was like, man, we should we should remix the song and make it for all our people we lost. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And we we wasn't making the song like to be no Grammy winning song or no hit. We was just like you just just paying homage and paying respect to our uh, to our to our partners that passed away. You know, it was from the heart. It cut through. I got <clears throat> homies that has played that at funerals. Oh, yes. back home. Yes, yes, you know indeed. what I mean. And you think yes, you indeed. think about that and put it in perspective. It's like wow, that's deep. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, definitely. So, definitely. I, I was I was coming through the airport coming from Cincinnati, mm -hmm. and a dude told me in uh in the line he was like, I finally convinced my wife to have your song played at my funeral. What? When I died, I was like, bro, I, I, I say, bro, that's deep. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah, it's, 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 it's real like that. Man, I mean, and it's, it's like a cult when you think about Bone Thugs and Harmony. And like I said, all across the country, all across the world, you've been so many places. Your yes. passport's been stamped. L.A. is like your second home. Yes. Who in the group holds the group together when there's a time where there's some adversity to overcome or y'all need to get things in order? Is it you? Is it lazy? Like, who said, all right, dog, well, let's all sit down and chop this up? I mean, it's it's at times we all play that okay. play that role, you know, because one time I might be consumed with something and I'm not paying attention to what's going, going on if somebody put my, put my uh, shirt, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, yeah. man, we need to be over here doing this or maybe I see some stuff that's going on just not benefiting the group and you know what I'm saying I I have to call a meeting but it, it, it it's it's different you know what I'm saying at, mm -hmm. at at different times it depends on what's going on 
Got you, man. But, but that's why we've been together for so long because we've all been able to play that role and and everybody respect it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And how many years has it been now? Bone Talks and Homies been together? Oh man, it's like. It's, I mean, we've been in the game for 25 years, but yeah. we've been together for like 35 years. See, see, <laughs> you know that's, that's a bond you just, you just oh, can't yeah. play with. You can't yeah, yeah, and, it's, and it's way deep because our, our grandparents knew, even before we knew each other, mm-hmm. our, our grandparents knew each other and our parents went to school together before we even knew that. Like That's crazy, so, man. Yeah, 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 so it runs deep. Definitely runs deep. So here we are, 25 years later, after being in the game, you guys are a, a foundation of hip-hop, and then you have... Migos pop off and yeah. they start jabbing at the mouth. <laughs> How, first of all, when you hear them, what's your first reaction? Well, man, honestly, I'm a I'm gonna keep it 100, man, because I'm a I'm the type of dude that like I don't I don't get caught up in all that like with because because people do a lot of self proclaiming these days. Right. True. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can get on there and say they're the king or they're the best or you know what I'm saying? And and and, and um, I think we got it twisted. What measures? success yes these days it, because it's not always about money mhm because i mean you don't really have to have talent to make money true you know what i'm saying these yeah. days all it takes is a buzz a gimmick a little niche yeah you know what i'm saying but it's like those things never bother me because i know the work that we've put in and i know what we've accomplished money can't buy you that no can't it you know can. what I'm saying? Like, like we've touched people in a way, like you said, we have a cult following. Mm-hmm. We've touched people in a way to we'll we'll still be here 20 years from now. True, our music will still be around. We're yours. Yeah, and, 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 and I'm just not talking about to, to to the Migos. I'm talking about any artist. Yeah, that's, that's what true. you need to be thinking about. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm, as a fan of Bone Thugs and Harmony, uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, and as your friend, longtime friend, when I heard it, it, it bothered me because. Mm-hmm. You know, when I think of your, that era, that's my era, right? And yeah. I know what y'all had to go through. I know when Real you going in the studio, you didn't have social media. You had to go on tour to promote your album, City to City. It was a it was a daily right. thing. Right. Where they can just post something, and you know, there it is. I feel like it's too easy right. now. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and what people don't realize is like um, record sales and streaming is way different. It's totally different. Mm-hmm. You know, so you had to get out there and bust your ass like. You had to put in blood, sweat, and tears, like for people to know who you are. You know, what I mean? it wasn't just uploading up. You know what I'm saying? Like no video, man. You had to get out there and like really, really, really make people feel you. Yeah. And, and you had to get out there and reach them people. You know what I'm saying? You had to connect with them people emotionally. That's why Bone Thugs and Harmony. That's why. That's why we're still here because we made a connection with our fans that was real. Yeah. They Y'all saw us out in touch. You know what I mean? Yeah. They 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 saw us as representing unity and family and. You know the struggle mm-hmm. more than anything. You know what I'm saying, which we still represent. So, it's like I feel like sometimes, you know, hip hop has disconnected itself from the struggle. Okay, you know I what I'm like saying? That. Yeah. You know, and, and, and it's all about and it's and it's all about money and glamour and like like I tell people, it's cool because you know what I'm saying. But like the music we make is going to last forever because. It's cool to make those songs that you go to the club and like forget about your, forget about your you know problems, problems and you know, your bills temporarily. For a yeah, but when you leave that club and you wake up the next day, you you got to get through the rest of life. You have to, you yeah. know, and that's the music we make. And we everybody need a soundtrack to their life, man. Yeah, and that's what we give them. You man. know what I'm saying? Like stuff that's gonna help you get through what you whatever you're going through, and you can reflect. Because I talk to fans all the time. They say. I was thinking about suicide. My life was crazy, and y'all music put me through all that. Wow! So that's worth that's worth more than any Grammy award that's or any priceless. any award you can receive. Yeah, real I, talk. I mean, between hearing that and then with the guy approaching the airport saying what he said, like exactly. I mean, you ain't got to say nothing else. You have solidified yourself when it comes to hip hop, right? Real talk. And here we are, a ten year anniversary for Crush Groove. I feel like you guys have been a part of this concert man, yes. every year. Yes, indeed, man. People we love look it. forward to it. <laughs> uh, last year, we honored Warren G on stage. I think Word on the Street, you may already know, but y'all going to be getting a plaque this year. I'm putting it out there right now. Oh, it's going down, baby. Uh, and yes, it's gonna indeed. Be, I'm putting a request that I need to make sure I have a shirt and a hat because I want to wear gotcha. that when I'm rocking the mic at the Forum on 420. Got you, got you, for sure. Got to sport this. I mean, 
because it is 420. You Makes know what it is? Got to. <laughs> yes, indeed, man. We it's add all it all love. up. So how does it feel when you get that call? Because you know what's coming for Crush Groove or how the West was won. Yeah. How does it feel being a part of those concerts? Man, man, it's always good. You know, I, I be kind of upset when we don't. <laughs> I be like, oh, oh, we ain't on this one? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's cool, though, man. You know, because uh, um. Man, this, this is this is traditional. This is this is legendary for hip hop because you know this is the first hip hop station. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Like, so this is very important for this for for, for y'all to do what y'all do. And um, how fast it sells out only shows you how yeah. much the fans appreciate it. Yeah, and you the, know? and the lineup every is, year. Yeah, every year, and the lineup is very similar. But people look forward to it. It's like you know, it's almost like a Mother's Day or Christmas. You know when Crush Groove coming, it's on your calendar. You gotta go. Exactly, and that, and and that also speaks a lot about the era. In the genre, yep. you know what I'm saying, of 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 the artists you you guys represent, because um, it's not that people are saying, you know, like that the music today, you know, it's all garbage. It's just like a lot of people connected more to the music in that era because yeah. it was like, like I said again, it was what they could relate to. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Everybody, everybody can't pop bottles and wear Versace or whatever it is they wear. Everybody can't do that all the time. So, I mean, it's attractive. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good inspiring people. Yeah, you know, I maybe want to chase that, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, at the end of the day, we all got to we all got to face reality. Yeah, man, because those are false dreams. I mean, you exactly. know what I'm saying? You can't take that with you forever. That's for sure, man. Exactly. You but know? your music definitely lives on forever. Uh, obviously, we got the product. We popping off right here. Yes, indeed. Then get the, is there a website they can go to for that? Or yes, online? indeed. It's Strands of Legends. Uh, Strandsandlegends.com. Okay. You know, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. I talk about it all the time. You know, uh, yeah, man, it's going. It's it's going down. We trying to push this all the way, like oh. make it make it real big, like real big. As it should be, man. I know it's definitely going to be. It's going down 420 Crush Crew. Bone yes. Thugs at Home are going to be in the building. Uh, Crazy Bone, when you do the new music, is it hard doing that on stage because everybody wants to hear the classics? Is it hard yep. giving that to man, them? Man, man, you know what? Like, and fans might get mad at me, man, but I'm tired of doing that old stuff. <laughs> I'm t- That's what you we know, want. I know they want to hear, man, but yeah. you know, man, man, I, man, I'll be on stage sometimes like, Ugh. It's the thuggish, ruggish, boom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? you keeping it 100 right no, now. No, bro, 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 I'm going to keep it 100. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, and I tell my um, I tell my brothers that all the time. I'm like, bro, y'all ain't tired of doing this, man. Like, we should at least go make a new song or something. I mean, <laughs> damn, for real. But, but but speaking of that, I do got I do got some new projects coming out. You know Dope. what I'm saying? Got okay. some um, got some solo stuff I'm working on. One called The Quick Fix Music. Music's the medicine should be dropping next month. Okay, uh, working on the um, chasing the devil part two, working on a um, Leatherface album, a lot of things, man. And like yeah. I said, I'm trying to get my brothers in the studio. Okay. They get off this legendary stuff. Yeah, man. <laughs> and then, hey. and let's yeah. make some new music for real. We would definitely love to hear it. KD Nation would definitely embrace that, man. And I just think it's so dope for you to take your time out to come by the morning. So you know your All the love. door's always open for you here, bro. Yes, indeed, bro. You know all love. Man? And gotta admit. You know, back in the day, we didn't have access to Instagram and all that. So when I do see you on that and you just yeah. freestyling, like, oh, that's yeah. stuff we didn't get a chance to see back in the day. Yeah, really. I look forward to see you doing that. Thank you, bro. And yes, I think indeed. it shows us another side of you, like, wow, like. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, indeed. Because yes, we indeed. all human. We all have our daily things. So when you pop off like that, man, that's so dope, man. I appreciate man. that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How can, they, how can they follow you on Instagram and Twitter? Man, Instagram is crazy bone. Um, it's crazy underscore bone. On uh, Twitter is I am Crazy Bone, and uh, yeah, man, that's what it is. That's what it is. Y'all better get this product right here. I'm going to have my shirt. My, my Matter of fact, if y'all got a jacket, I'm going to have the jacket on for crushing. Oh, yeah. They coming. They coming. Yes, that's indeed. That's what's up, man. Yes, Thank indeed. you again for coming to the K-Day Morning Show, All bro. All love, brother. Yes, yes, indeed. All right.